Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP Lectures. We were discussing about discrete time systems for the last few videos and we learned the different properties on which discrete time systems are classified. We learned about linear and nonlinear systems in detail in the last video. In this lecture, we will see the next property which is stability. So, let us start our lecture. There are many definitions for the stability of a system. Of them, we will study about a particular type of stability called Bibo stability. Here, Bibo stands for bounded input, bounded output. As per Bibo stability criteria, a system is stable if and only if it produces bounded output for bounded input at each and every instant of time. As you can see, the most important aspect here is the term bounded and we are bounding the amplitude of the input and output signals. So what is a bounded signal? A bounded signal is that signal whose amplitude is finite from instance n equal to minus infinity to n equal to plus infinity. Defining this mathematically, a signal x of n is bounded if and only if magnitude of xn is less than or equal to some finite positive value bx which is less than infinity for all values of n. To understand this better, some examples of bounded signals are DC signals, sine and cosine signals and unit step signals. The amplitude of all these signals are finite at all instances of time. For instance, the amplitude of a DC signal will always be some constant value for some range of n and all these amplitudes will be less than infinity. Similarly, the maximum amplitude for sine and cosine signals are plus 1 and minus 1. And for unit step, the maximum amplitude is plus 1. Okay. Now that you know what is a bounded signal, you also know what are bounded inputs and bounded outputs. An input signal x of n is bounded if there exists a finite positive valued bx such that magnitude of x of n less than or equal to bx less than infinity for all values of n. In similar fashion, an output signal is bounded if and only if there exists a finite positive valued by such that magnitude of y of n less than or equal to by less than infinity for all values of n. Ok, now let us read our Bibo stability criteria once again. This time it will make much more sense. A system is Bibo stable if and only if for every bounded input sequence it produces a bounded output sequence. Ok. Now let us see an example on this topic. Consider a system described by y of n equal to a into x of n plus b. We need to check if the system is stable or not. So as an input we select the bounded signal x of n equal to c into u of n where c is a constant. Now let us see the corresponding output y of n equal to a into c u of n plus b which is equal to b when n less than 0 because u of n is 0 when n less than 0 and is equal to a c plus b when n greater than or equal to 0 because u of n is equal to 1 when n greater than or equal to 0. To check if the output is bounded, let's see what is magnitude of y of n. Therefore, magnitude of y of n is equal to magnitude of b which is less than or equal to b y which is less than infinity for all values of n which is less than 0. 
similarly magnitude of y of n is equal to magnitude of ac plus b which is less than or equal to by less than infinity for all values of n greater than or equal to zero so you can see that for a definite bounded input c into u of n we are getting a bounded output therefore this is a stable system well here you have to trust my words when i say that it is stable because to properly conclude that the system is stable we should show that the property holds true for every possible input signals to the system but that is not realistically possible so there is another way to conclude bebo stability we will learn that once we study convolution okay coming to another example we have the system y of n equal to y of n minus 1 square plus x of n and y of minus 1 equal to 0 again as before we will consider a bounded input signal let it be x of n equal to c into do of n you can also choose x of n equal to c into u of n no problem with that but i simply chose another input that's all okay so the corresponding output will be y of 0 equal to y square of minus 1 plus c into do of 0 which is equal to 0 plus c which is c similarly y of 1 equal to y of 0 square plus c into do of 1 which is c square plus 0 or c square next y of 2 is equal to y of 1 square plus c into do of 2 which is c raised to 4 plus 0 or c raised to 4 in similar fashion extending all the way to y of n we have y of n minus 1 square plus c into do of n which will be c raised to 2n so as n tends to infinity y of n tends to infinity which is unbounded therefore our condition that a bounded input should produce a bounded output is violated so this system is not bebo stable that's all for this lecture i hope that all the concepts taught in this video are clear to all of you if you have any doubts feel free to ask them in the comments either we or some other viewer will surely help you out In the next video we will learn about the next classification method which is invertibility. If you found our lecture useful please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching properly and have a great day.